Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to episode 8 of Living with the Saints. Okay, and uh, we've already discussed uh, four saints from Poland, three saints from France, and now we're going to discuss uh, about six saints from Italy. Okay, now I'm going to focus on uh, the first four, and the first four are um, saints that are young at age, you know, uh, or teenagers or young adults, okay? And their ages are between uh, 12 to 23 years old, okay? So today I'm going to start with uh, the youngest one, uh, which is 12 years old. And this saint, uh, we celebrate today uh, her memorial, which is Saint Maria Goretti, okay? And uh, so Saint Maria Goretti was born in uh, Ancon, uh, Italy. And uh, she, she was born uh, from a very poor uh, family, okay, of farmers, and um, because of their poverty, she wasn't to get, uh, able to get uh, an education, so she wasn't able to learn how to read and to write. Uh, that is why uh, she was able only to get her first communion when she was about 12 years old instead of 7 years old, okay? Uh, so she was born in 1890, and uh, so at, her, at the age of 12, uh, she has this neighbor uh, called Alessandro uh, Serenelli, uh, aged 19 years old. And um, so this, this uh, Alessandro uh, tried to, to rape her. And, uh, and you know, she refused and, and she once said this to Alessandro. She said, no, God does not wish it. It is a sin. Okay. And because of her refusal, uh, to the advances of Alessandro Serenelli, uh, Alessandro uh, stabbed her 14 times, okay? So he, she went to the uh, hospital, and there, you know, she, she, she expressed her willingness really to forgive uh, Alessandro. Uh, and after receiving uh, the Viaticum uh, or the Eucharist for the last time, uh, she passed away, okay, after 24 hours of being in, in the hospital. And so Alessandro uh, was, uh, was caught by the police and he was sentenced for 30 years in prison. And, you know, he, he wasn't rep 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 repentant of what he did, uh, but there's a turning point. There was one evening when he dreamt about uh, Maria Coretti. So Maria came to him and gave him 14 lilies, okay? And 14 lilies, uh, of course, lily is uh, a symbol of, uh, for chastity. And that's why we see St. Joseph would carry uh, uh, the flower of lily. And uh, so the, the 14 lilies uh, corresponds to the 14 stab wounds that uh, she received from Alessandro. So after that, uh, Alessandro had a conversion. And after 27 years of being in prison, uh, the first... Uh, he, he, he left uh, prison, and the first thing that he did was he went to the uh, mother of Maria Goretti and asked for forgiveness, okay? And uh, so uh, Alessandro uh, uh, lived a, a repentant life, and he became a gardener and a porter uh, in a, a Capuchin monastery. And this is what he once said, I am now almost 80 years old. I am close to the end of my days. Looking back at my past, I recognize that in my early youth, I followed a false road, an evil path that led to my ruin. Through the content of printed magazines, immoral shows, and bad examples in the media, I saw the majority of the young people of my day following evil without even thinking twice. And worried, I did the same thing. Okay? And, uh, so he really encouraged uh, uh, Alessand uh, Al Alessandro really encouraged uh, the youth of his age really to uh, to avoid any uh, form of pornography and and right now it's it's rampant and uh, uh, young boys and girls you know even at the young age of like eight nine or ten are being exposed to this in 1950. Uh, Maria Goretti was canonized, okay, and uh, Alessandro was present in the canonization, as well as the mother uh, of Maria Goretti, and 250,000 people attended that canonization, okay. So we pray for uh, 
the intercession of Saint Maria Goretti for chastity in our life. Be a living saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.